Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason and I'm your watch guy today. Today I have episode three of my 100 pounds of a Rolex series. Now, before I start with any of that, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that's watched me videos lately. My GMT video that I released yesterday is performing stupidly well. I've had a nice little influx of subscribers. Uh, it's sat at 400 views right now and I made up for that because you know, for someone who's literally just started out, it, it's nice. It's nice to see that. And I'd also like to say thank you for everyone who's been asking for this series in the comments. As well as anyone that comments, I've, I really do like chatting with you guys in the comments. So please keep that up. Or if you've never done it before, please do. I reply to pretty much everyone in there, as I should. So, with all that out of the way, let's get into this episode. So in the last episode, you saw the Tissot that I got in. It was a little bit of a letdown and I kind of resided myself to expecting to lose a little bit of money on that. So we put it out for sale and we lost a little bit of money on that. Uh, after putting it on eBay, just on bids, I ended up with £42, which translates to 37 after fees and everything. And obviously I'd paid 42 so yeah, I lost a fiver. But... That's all done with now. So the budget then sat at £165, which was still something to work with. So what I did is I went out and I bought this Fossil Bannon watch. Now you've probably seen that in an earlier video. It was the Why I Hate Fashion Watches video. Uh, but what I didn't tell you is, is that I got it for a stupidly good deal. I was browsing through Hot UK Deals and it popped up at 30 pounds or just under 30 pounds it'd be marked down from like 120 or something so i thought surely i can make some money on that and i've made money on things like that before i didn't expect to make much so i put it out for sale on facebook here was the ad i put it out for 50 pounds i got a few replies someone offered me 40 didn't get back in touch i would have took that and then yesterday a guy called uriah popped up now you I had a little back and forth with me. He started off at £20, which I thought was a little bit cheeky, but as I later found out, it was part of his negotiation strategy. And I get that, I do it all the time myself. So me and Uriah, after going back and forth a little bit, we ended up at £35. And I was happy to take that because it was £5 made back up. I was back up to 170 Interesting story about Uriah. He's also on YouTube and he's doing a flipping video soon uh, i'm not going to tell you much about it because it'll probably ruin it for them but i'll pop his channel just there if you want to go subscribe to it he also does advice on gaining followers on social media and stuff like that so you know it's there if you want it i had 170 left in the budget and as you may see from the title i kind of went out and went a bit mad with it it wasn't planned but i kind of spent it all pretty much all of it anyway what can i say so First of all, I went on to Spoch, and what I do on Spoch is once I see someone listing watches regularly and sell them at a good price usually, I'll follow them. So I'll get a notification every time one pops up. And as you may remember from the first video in this series, I bought a watch from a gent called David. Now, David sold me an Aquatico Seastar Bronze Diver at an exceptional price. David then posted this Hedita Edgard that you may have seen me review. Now, this Hedita really struck me as soon as I saw it. After looking into it a little bit more, it's a homage to a Zodiac Super Seawolf. And I think that's why it got me. As you can see, it's a really striking watch. It's really big on wrist, but it's got really nice colours to it. So, David had this posted up at £135. Now, obviously, I tried to barter with him. That's part of the business, I guess. Uh, I offered £100, which is the same that I offered for the Aquatico. David came back with 120 was a good offer, but I needed a little bit better. So I offered him 110 and as you can see here, he was a little bit reluctant, wanted 115 but I held out, and we eventually agreed on £110. Funny enough, um, after talking to David a little bit more, it turns out that I watched the first video, and he was very keen on me doing another video, as you can see from this message. So yeah, thanks David. Again, thank you a lot. You've 
pretty much made this series up to now. <laughs> I'm just going to insert a quick wrist shot of this header to egg guard because I know some people have been asking for it. Now this is a really stunning watch. As you can see, the massive orange minute marker really does make it and it really accents the mint green bezel really well. I don't think I've seen a more striking watch at this price point. Obviously they owe a lot of that to the Zodiac, but it's a watch that I'm really glad I got in to this series because I think it's an absolute beauty and it's being slept on by a lot of people. So we had our Hedita. Now the Hedita is out for sale now on eBay. I will link that in the description. If you're interested, go have a look at it. If you want to make me a reasonable offer, I'm open to that too. So after that, £110, we had 60 left. Now, I was tempted to leave the 60 there and just build on it. Then I started looking at Facebook again. And on Facebook, I found this Aviate watch. The Aviate Hawker Hurricane. Now, these are pilot-inspired watches, usually quite cheap, but I think some of them look quite good. So, here's the Aviate. Now, I haven't done a review on that one yet, but if you just want one, I'll do it. It's not something that I've done before. I've never done a Flieger style watch, but I really do like the Flieger design on it, as well as this massive IWC looking crown. I've always wanted an IWC, so that crown really, really jumped out at me. It's it's a nice overall watch, very cheap. I got this for £30 in the end, as you can see here. We had a little bit of a back and forth, but in the end, I got it for £30 and picked it up locally. If you're looking on Facebook or Spock locally, you can usually get a really good deal if you talk to the person, be polite, and tell them that you pick it up straight away, cash in hand. That usually pushes the negotiation into your favour a little bit. Now, you might think that I'm done. You might think that knocking the budget down to £30 was enough for me, but it wasn't. So, I went to a second-hand store today, and I spotted... This Seiko High Beast TV style ladies watch. Now it's an old one. It's a little bit beaten up. But I think after a little bit of TLC. A little bit of care going into this. I think we can make a little bit of money on it. Because I only paid £15. And at that price with a working High Beast ladies Seiko. I think I might be able to double my money. I think I'll at least get £30 out of this. Hopefully. Again, I have both of these watches available right now. If you're interested in them at all, then please shoot me a message and we may be able to negotiate something. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to pop them on eBay once the editor is sold and move them along as quickly as I possibly can. So after selling the Tissot, we started with a budget of £165. We sold the Fossil, made £5. We've then gone out and bought the editor, Edgard, for a. 110 the av8 for 30 pounds and the seiko for 15 that brings our budget all the way down to 15 pounds but hopefully in the next video what i'll be telling you is that our budget's gone over the 200 pound mark and we are absolutely flying so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you're sticking with the series and i hope you've enjoyed it if you like this please do subscribe I also have a lot of reviews on the channel that you may be interested in. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, guys.